All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to New Record Day. My name is Ron. Today I'm your tour guide for the sound clips with commentary for these PSB Alpha T20s. Little mini towers, really cool design, 649 bucks, I believe, is the street price right now. And uh, they're in for review, and I wanted you guys to hear these. Uh, if you're curious why all this tape is on the ground and you haven't had a chance to watch the official New Record Day speaker setup tutorial called LOTS, which is Loudspeaker Optimization Techniques for Soundstage, I'll have it linked and you can check it out. But these are a great candidate for pulling out into the room uh, for sure. One specific reason is, well, they pack quite a punch. These will, these will dish out deeper bass than you might expect, and it's something that I think a lot of folks will probably appreciate about these, uh, especially considering their size. So, yeah, let's get started. All right, treble impressions, here we go. Now something to keep in mind, these are short speakers and I am sitting quite a bit higher than where the tweeter is. You guys on the other hand are listening with the mics on access to the tweeters and so you might be getting a little bit more spark, a little bit more top end than I am in the listening position so you need to, you need to remember that as we're uh, trekking through here. But I will tell you, uh, these are these are smooth, three quarter inch aluminum dome tweeter, and they are smooth. I guess that, you know, a consequence to that is you might be missing some air and detail and stuff that is, oh, in the time domain, but so far I'm getting, I'm getting enough detail to keep me satisfied. They're not so warm that I'm going to be falling asleep halfway through the sound clips. Yeah, I was curious as to what this one was going to sound like. This is the one where at the end we have all of this percussion and, you know, rhythm type stuff going on right in the middle of the stage. And they're doing a fine job. I am getting enough detail, like I said, to keep me satisfied. I have certainly heard more presence and more liveliness out of some of the other speakers that we've had in for review. But these, for somebody that you know, enters listening fatigue very easily. They want something that's going to be a smoother or more um, relaxed presentation on top. So far, I think these would be a good fit. Yeah, so you guys probably uh, are from, you're probably familiar with this track by now. I'm looking for scale. So these acoustics with a lot of speakers can sound really big. And it also shows off just the size of the room um, that the acoustics are being recorded in. Or at least <laughs> what a good job they've done with the reverb <laughs> in the studio. Either way, this recording can sound really big for sure, and 
these small speakers, they do sound rather big, which is pretty darn impressive. So this is the track that we use because I, I like this track in the sense that I feel like it's mixed a little bit hot. I feel like the top end is just cranked on this particular recording. And when you have a speaker that is already tilted or bright, then this track sounds like a mess. When you have a speaker that is either balanced or in this case smoother, then you can get through the track without any problem and that's exactly what just happened. So, all right, upper mid range, here we go. Yeah, so if you want to rock out with the Alpha T20s and you do not want things to be shouty or bright, these will get the job done. They can, they can rock out. Using LOTS, our uh, loudspeaker method, um, we have these speakers way out in the room, and the result of doing that is, well, we got depth, and we got width, and we have a performance in the room, and that was just perfectly showcased in that track. So, yeah, these, these can stage no problem. No problem. If you get these away from the walls, they will certainly reward you. Even though I am getting a decent stage in the room, it's not as high as it should be. And look, let's, I mean, let's get real about this. It's the design of the loudspeakers. I mean, these are, <laughs> these are short, right? And so it's, it's a little bit distracting in the sense of what I am hearing is more energy down low than where it would normally be up higher, you know? Could you lift these up? bring them up higher to ear level? Sure, yeah, you, you could certainly do that, and I, I would assume that that would fix that particular, you know, observation. Another thing that I'm noticing is there are some instruments that I'm hearing that even though it's not bright, I am hearing a tweeter. It's calling attention to itself. And so I don't know what's causing that. I haven't measured these yet. So I would, I would need to find out and see if, you know, do we see anything that would be saying, here I am, pay attention to me. But there are a couple of instruments. I heard it specifically with the, the cymbals on that track. I'm hearing a tweeter, and it's a little bit distracting. Let's move on. All right, and here we have our track with our electric guitar player, and he's back behind the speaker near the lamp where he normally is. 
and we have some, again, decent staging going on with these guys. It does sound, again, a little bit short. You have to remember that this is something that you're probably going to notice and you may have to work with them if that bothers you. It might not bother you at all. I'm just giving you my observations is that electric guitar player is typically up higher and he sounds short, like somebody chopped his legs off, <laughs> which is not very nice. All right, let's move on. kind of wish that I had a little more separation of, you know, the droney keys effect that we're hearing and the piano notes. I specifically remember with this track on some of the other speakers that we've had in-house, granted substantially more expensive speakers than these, so we need to remember that, there's a bit more separation of those keys in those piano notes. And with these, it sounds a little bit congested, kind of like it's all one instrument. So, mm, not the best that we've heard. Alrighty, mid-range. Wow, okay, well that actually sounded great. Uh, this was at least a track where these don't sound so short anymore. That actually had quite a bit of lift and the 10 whistle that we're hearing, it popped out with authority from the mix and that sounded really nice. I'm really impressed with the depth that I'm able to get out of these speakers. The cassinets and the sitar, they're, they're beyond the fireplace. I mean, they're, they're out in the backyard and it's over 100 degrees out there, so somebody should let them in or go and give them a glass of water for crying out loud. No commentary needed, that sounded great. The congas, the bongos, the hand slaps, they sounded precise, they sounded clean. Lots of body for sure. There's no doubt about that. It's going to be interesting when we get into mid-bass and bass with these. I think these are going to surprise a lot of folks. That sounded great, no commentary needed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, mid bass. For such a little speaker, <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely surprised that Paul was able to get some confident 
decent mid bass and bass out of these things. What I'm trying to listen for now is, yeah, we've got we've got confident mid bass. Am I getting texture and tone out of those drivers? I know those are textured polypropylene drivers, and I'm hearing the notes. Maybe I'm not getting the ultimate in texture and tone. It's kind of like this. If a paper cone driver is gonna give us the ultimate in resolution detail retrieval when it comes to mid bass and bass. I feel like these are somewhere right in the middle. So far, let's keep moving forward. Yeah, there is some confidence with these guys that you know, I imagine, I mean, I'm, I'm in a big room and I would imagine that a lot of folks that might be interested in getting a small floor stander because of space constraints, maybe they're in a condo or in an apartment, I have a feeling these will really deliver quite a bit of punch for those folks. So again, the mid bass was great. Um, maybe a little, maybe a tad bloated for my liking. Maybe just a tad, a smidge. I'm being nitpicky at this point. No commentary needed, that was great. All right, ladies and gentlemen, bass. Man, I would need to go back and listen and I wonder if you guys are already thinking what I'm thinking, but I feel like I'm getting deeper, more confident bass out of these guys than I was with the ELAC Towers, which is really surprising me. So yeah, I mean, if you're into electronic music, mid-bass, bass, these can do it. Yeah, so here it is again, that initial hit I think will surprise a lot of folks when they hear that out of these two, you know, rather small towers. It, it's punching with authority and confidence and that's, that's good. I'm playing a little bit louder than I normally do in here, and maybe on that track, 
were asking too much. There seemed to be a little bit of confusion with some of the, you know, really deep lower bass notes on that particular track. But still, <laughs> I'm nitpicking and it's still not bad for sure, especially again at the asking price. Yeah, so that's it for the bass tracks. And I would say, I think I'm spot on in saying texture and tone is probably right in the middle. If the king of texture and tone resolution is a paper cone driver, I'm gonna say that polypropylene is somewhere in the middle of the road. You are getting some texture and tone, that's good. And you're not just getting well farts and nobody wants that, right? I mean, once you hear texture and tone, you have to have it. And at the asking price, you're gonna hear some texture and tone out of these speakers, and that is something that we can certainly celebrate. Alrighty, female vocals, here we go. I don't wanna be loved by you, be loved by you. I don't need to be hurt or rescued, not by you. Not so close, you're eating my space Don't inhale so much You're choking me Oh, everything you think you own or have the right to That sounded pretty nice. Uh, you know, with that particular track, I couldn't help but notice that these, they didn't sound short. So keep that in mind. Uh, it's important that you understand that that's the one variable that I can't control. I don't know what you're gonna be listening to. And you might not notice that these are down low. And in that particular track, if I closed my eyes, and I was, and I was listening, everything was as it should be. Mm -hmm. I will get close to your heartache if you That sounded really pretty. Um, I noticed with her voice that I'm not getting all of the detail on the top end of her voice. So it, it, was, it was definitely a smoother presentation than what I've heard in this track before. But if you had never heard this track before and you only heard them on these, I have a feeling that you would be totally fine with all of the resolution that we are hearing in the performance. These are smooth. These are smooth sounding speakers for sure.
All right, male vocals, here we go. You tell me you're scared. you think All right, so with that track, we're getting kind of a rich presentation for sure. And I would say that with his vocals, there is a bit more bloom. There's a bit more coloration in the vocals than what I would consider as, you know, perfectly linear, meaning that no coloration, nothing being added to the vocals in my opinion what i'm hearing is a little bit more of a chestier type presentation certainly not a bad thing and a lot of audiophiles love that sound so something to consider something to think about if you decide to hit the checkout button all right last track here we go Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Let me figure out where the road Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Yeah, so with this track, two things that stood out. Again, I feel the same way with the last track with the male vocals that we have a little bit more chesty type presentation with the male vocals. The second thing that I noticed is right, right off the bat, those acoustics typically have a bit more top end shine to them. They're just popping right out of the mix and they have a little bit more clarity than what I'm hearing with these guys. So here's the short of it. The PSB Alpha T20's smooth sounding loudspeaker no doubt about that. We've got that buttoned up. With male vocals, you can expect to get a little bit more of a chesty type coloration with male vocals. And it's important to note that there will be some tracks that will not give you 100% of the top end resolution that is tucked away in the tracks. Instead, things are going to be just smoothed out a little bit. So, that was a lot of fun.